Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. Come to look at a Vauxhall Insignia. And it's got this current shape here. So let's have a look what's happening in here is when we start it up. Turn off the uh, parking sensors for a minute. This is the warning we're getting here, coolant level low, add coolant. So you might have seen on one of our videos before that the issue is inside the coolant bottle here. It's got a sensor inside. So if we look down inside the bottle, there's a float there. And you can see that gets a lot of corrosion on it and it sticks. So if we get a little pick in there, you can uh, move that up and down. Basically. So when it gets, it gets stuck, it doesn't read the uh, level of the water. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, you can just get a pick in there, try and wiggle that around, see if you can free it out. Save you replacing the whole bottle. For around about £25, you can buy a completely new bottle with the sensor already attached. And you can see inside there, this one's got a brand new float of course, it's a brand new bottle and a brand new sensor. Just on the bottle here, you got one and two hoses that are going into it, so they just need to be opened. So we'll just use a pair of these pliers and take the clips off, and then we can pull the hoses off. Just give them a little twist left and right. I'm going to lose a small bit of coolant while doing this. Just over here on the back of the bottle, you've got these little clips that we need to take off. And once we slide it, you slide that a little bit forward and up, you can get underneath it here, and just unplug the uh, sensor plug there, just by pulling that tab back. Got both hoses disconnected, and out it comes. Very simple. We just get the uh, bottom holes back on underneath. Plug the uh, sensor plug back in there. Back up the top holes there, and then just down the back end, we just need to slip that in there and over the top with this one. Actually, yeah, that goes there, sorry. And then our clip will slip right over the top there. Hold that in place. Top it back up with some fluid, coolant, and job is done. And of course, when you uh, refill your coolant, you always run the engine. Make sure it's up to temperature, and then check the check it doesn't need topping up again. Sometimes they can drop a little bit after you've topped it up. If we look inside the old bottle there. You can see the state of that float there that was in there, it's just corroded up. So it's probably, it was worthwhile just putting a new one. I think it's always worthwhile just putting a new one on, but yeah. They can be um, sort of wiggled around sometimes just to make it work, see if they're sticking. Now we're back in the car. We'll start it up. We'll get rid of the service soon message. And now we shouldn't see any more coolant level low messages so that's all sorted nice easy fix if you're ever getting that message up almost every Vauxhall I've ever seen or come to has got this same message uh, so it's quite a common problem and a lot of people don't seem to even get it fixed for some reason but it's very important because if your coolant is actually low you're not going to take notice because the message is always shown so it's good to have a nice working coolant reservoir with a with a working float and a working sensor so you know that the coolant is actually working and or if it is low see you in the next video